Hi all, this is Tim Olson of Evolution Software. In today's video tip, we're going to look at how you can Boolean a surface along with a solid. And we're going to start off our demonstration by converting a mesh into a surface, which we will then add to our solid. To convert the mesh, let's go to our mesh tools and let's go to the subdivision to NURB in Power Pack. We're going to select all of the meshes and let's go ahead and convert those over into a surface. Note Power Pack will convert when it can into a solid, but in this case the we have open edges everywhere, and so Power Pack will convert these into NURB surfaces. Now that we have our mesh converted, let's go ahead and inspect it. And you can see again that uh, we we have all kinds of closed edges, open edges. Next, let's go ahead and construct a solid that we're going to Boolean this with. And I'm just going to make a, a simple plate, starting off with an ellipse. And then let's move it over on top of it. Looks like we need to make that bigger. And now we're going to go take that ellipse and we will extrude it down. And let's just add a little bit of an edging effect on it. Let's uh, put a chamfer. Let's try a tenth of an inch on the outside. Oop, too little. Let's go half inch. And let's go one inch. Next step is to Boolean the surface with the solid. But before we do that, it's very important that you check your surface directions prior to doing your Boolean operation. It's important that the surface normals point away from the material in order for the Boolean operation to work correctly. To check the direction of a surface normal, you can go to Verify, Show Direction. If you have Power Pack, you can just go to Verify, Printing Tools, uh, Surface Normals Check. This will highlight in red or green whether or not your surface is pointing away towards the observer which is away from the material. So we have uh, one part that is uh, red, so let's uh, correct it. And we'll uh, just select it with the arrow tool and go to the Edit, Change Direction. All right, the Change Direction will flip the surface normals in the case of a NURB surface. Let's go back to our surface normals check, and you can see now we're all pointing in the right direction. All right, let's go ahead and go to the, the Add tool and I'll pick my plate as the base, and then I will add both these two NURB surfaces to it. Now that we have it completed, let's do one more test to go ahead and confirm that it really did do a, a Boolean operation by performing a, a modeling operation that requires an edge of a solid, such as a blend. So let's go ahead and select the Radial Blend tool, and I'll use a radius of 0.1 for this part. I'm going to select this face, which will blend all of the edges associated with that face. And you can see it correctly did a blend, which gives me some confidence that that was a, a valid a Boolean operation between the surface and the solid. Thank you very much for watching this tip.